Hello. Hi, Alan. Kamario, hi. Kamario's Kimar there, yeah. Oh, he's there. He couldn't hear me before. Oh. I don't know why. I see him now. Can he, can he, uh, can he hear me? Can he hear? I hear I you. Hear. I know. I hear you. Can you hear me now? I can hear a lot of static. A lot of static. Just static. A lot of static. I know, but it, this is a, this is a, a little computer I have. Uh, I hear you. I hear you. Okay, should we start then? Or can we, should we go ahead? Yeah. Okay, where Who I could. We? Yeah. Kuf Gimel, Kuf Gimel Ahmed Bey's on the top, just after the, the the few lines there. We start from the, it says the mission stated, Lo um, In other words, it's, store, it's a case where the, they, the, the two husbands, two, the former husband and the, and the second husband, they both died. So, um, so they, when they say that they can't say uh, they can't say, uh, you know, either one of us is a supporter. We'll both support as one. They, they both have, they took upon themselves to support the, the stepdaughters for five years. So they each have to support the, uh, she double, like double dips, the, 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 the stepdaughters. So the Gamora cites was something that happened. Ahu gavra de ogeler recha lechavra lechuta. There was a, a certain man who rented a mill to his fellow in exchange for his services. Uh, payment was to be rendered not in cash, but the milling the lesser grain, the lesser grain. Because he had a he had a mill and he gave it to the, the this guy to use his mill and, and from it, Shavar Amar, and he purchased a mill and a donkey to provide for the needs of his household. So so, so he no longer needed the, the services of the renter. He he owned the he owned the the uh, the mill and he gave it to this guy he rented it out for for uh, so that the guy who rented it would would mill his wheat and that's how that's how he made the payment so he, the guy who rented it out became very wealthy so he didn't need him anymore so he says he's he no longer required the services of the renter so he said to him therefore have but till now uh, the, the my my grain was performed at your mill and this Constituted the rental for the mill, but I should not. How the younger you now? You if you want uh, if you want to rent my mill, you have to pay me cash since I no longer require your service because I'm very wealthy. Omerle, the renter said to him, I will continue to mill for you. I will not pay you cash. So they came before Rava, Ravina, and he said, Ravina the Neymar. First thought they said, I knew Masi. So this is the very issue with our mission concern. Lo yomer shneim. Two of them can't say to the to the daughters, "Hare Adonai Oshak Yecha." We will feed you as one. El Echa Zona, the one provides the food. The Acher Nosei the Meimazonas, and and one gives her the value of the food because she can't obviously she can't have food for both because she doesn't eat it. She's only got one stomach. That they can explain. Since she's got one stomach, one of them can provide the food. The other will give you the value of the food. And she'll be able to do with what with that with that money. And so um, Avira said, "Me dummy, are these cases similar?" There are the case of the mission the stepdaughter who has one stomach and she consumes only a single allowance. But trade the But if she does not have two stomachs, since she cannot consume the second food allowance, she's permitted to demand cash. So, but here the renter can say to the lessor. You will incur no loss for in, in your new mill, Tokazava. You can mill so grain, and while at the old mill, Tronosa, you can mill grain to keep for your household. Since continuing older ages will cause no loss, you he cannot demand a cash rent. So, therefore, they posca that. Uh, um, so, if we for we do not say that the renter cannot can refuse to pay cash. We do not say that Ella the list except when he does not have sufficient milling for the full operation of the mill. In the case of slack time at the mill can be used to pay the rental. Therefore, payment in cash represents an actual loss for the renter. But if he does not have sufficient milling for the full operation, the mill can go So we say is it's um it's like Zen and Sodom is that. Even though he's not going to 
benefit from it. In other words, the, the, the one who owns the mill says, you have to pay me cash for everything. And so uh, and the, and the, the, the renter says, uh, I, all these years I milled, I milled for you and, uh, and I gave you, uh, you know, I did your milling for free. So he says, it's, so if he doesn't give it to him, it's like minutes a dome because uh, he's, not, he's not losing anything by, not, by the guy not giving him cash. Understand? Oh. That's what Minas Sodom is. In other words, Zen Anna Vazello Chaser, if a person uh, benefits from it, the other guy doesn't lose anything. So there, there is no, um, there's no loss to him, and yet he doesn't do it. So that's called Minas Sodom. And uh, Minas Sodom is, um, uh, you know, it's, it's a terrible thing. So Therefore, he doesn't have to pay him cash. So, so now the Mishnah says, Amonish Amr, a widow says to her husband's heirs, he has she lazuri base folly. I, I can't stand to move away from my husband's house. I have, I'm so attached to it, I have to stay here. So he has she lazuri base folly. I cannot bear to move from my husband's house. The, the children, the heirs can't say, Put in your father's house, we will support you. She may remain in her husband's house, they must support her. They must give provider with lodging in her husband's house, commensurate with her status. So in other words, if a woman, a husband died and, and she's, uh, she has stepchildren, they can't force her to move out from the house. So Omerle, if she said, I can't bear to move from my father's house, that the heirs may say to her, if you're living with us, you'll receive the support. You may not, but if you're not living with us, you'll not receive any support. They're not required to support her if she dwells elsewhere. So, 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 if she argued that since she is a young woman and they are young men, it is proper for them to reside together. Then she can live in her father's house, and and her father and her father's house, and they have to support her uh, for living in her father's house because it's, because it's not a serious thing for her and her woman live in the uh, in, in the house with the with the step children who are young also. So turn around, buddy. Um, so, like the mission says, that a widow is entitled to a logic commensurate with her status. She makes use of the, of the other's dwelling just like she did her husband's time. If she has slaves and maidservants, servants, she has, she, they have to support her with those. During uh, uh, they did it to her husband's lifetime, so she gets that when she's uh, uh, a, a widow also. And she, uh, she makes you the pillows, the coverlets, and uh, during her husband's lifetime. If she had gold utensils, silver utensils, all these are issues they have to supply, supply her. She has to go to the, uh, the what she's used to. She can't cause her. She can't cause her love. And at Tia is after the Vesu, is the Tansa Sabinirsa. She live in my house and be supported with, uh, uh, with, with, um, uh, with, with all the days of your duration of your widowhood. Um, so it says the, the phrase in my house, which means the Vesi in my house, uh, is. It uh, implies that the widow is entitled to utilize the dwelling as contents precisely as she did while husband was alive. However, the face in my house works in the widow's advantage. Now the Gemara says how it how can work against her. So how is that case? Turn around about him. The face C. When the husband promises she live in my house, Veloba Bikti, not in my hut. The widow is entitled to lodging only if the husband leaves a many roomy house. But if all the leaves, but all, all he leaves is a small little cramped dwelling. She must vacate in favor of the heirs, because they are the it's yeah the, because the husband, even though he he wants his wife to live in the, in the house, but if it's a hut, it, all, not everybody can live in the house in this in the hut. The the children 
or and her can't live together in the, in the hut. So therefore, they, since they inherited, they, they have priority over that. That's what we say that the husband, that the, the, the husband wanted for his children. If the orphan sold the widow's dwelling, they have accomplished nothing. For at the moment, the husband dies, the widow gains the rights, and therefore orphans cannot affect the sale. So, how is it that different from that we learned? If the if the acted first and sold it, uh, the meager others of the father's meager estates. So it says they sold it, sold it. Even though the daughters have the rights, the sale takes effect. Likewise, see the widow has the rights in the house, but the sale should take effect. So Hassan, thereby the meager, where that uh, uh, where the orphan sold uh, the the sold the meager estate. The estate was not pledged to the daughter during the father's lifetime. Therefore, the orphans can affect the sale. The by the orphan sold the widow's house. The house was pledged to her during husband's life, and therefore the heirs was not sale. In other words, if they use the house as a pledge for her ksuba, then 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 she gets it. And they and, and if the and the and if the heirs sold it, it's it's not a good sale. So, so now the Gemara limits the widow's rights. So, Rabbi Naktinen, mother al mother shegamal, ain ayor shemchayim levos. If she's living in the house and the house falls down, they're not obligated to rebuild it. Tanya nami hachi, the don al mother shenafal dwelling collapsed. Ain ayor shemchayav and levos. Lo od el afil he almeres. Even if she says, "Ani chusov and ne abishle al echam lo," I will rebuild it with my own funds. We don't listen to her, and her and, and the heirs don't have to agree, agree to what she requests. A boy, a boy, a ship some my what is a lot? She repaired it, thus preventing the, the, the collapse of it. Can she remain in the dwelling, or she, can she leave it? Since without her parents, it would have collapsed. Or it says take it. We don't understand. We don't know the answer. So Amar if she if she said, I cannot bear the roof of my father's house. The heirs may say that if you're living with you, you receive support. If you're not living with us, you'll not receive support. But listen to the kiyas for us. Let the heirs provide her with support while she's living there. Why should the support be contingent on living in us's house? Or say it's Messiah and Rabuda, the Dhamma Rabuda, Birchas Abayas Bruba. The blessing of a household is a, is a numerous. In other words, the greater number of inhabitants, the greater number will be a financial blessing. So by the fact that she's there and more people there, uh, it, it's, it's a, a brach of the house. Uh, <clears throat> which means to say, it's like, the, the, you know, we only the adage, yeah, two can live as cheaply as one. If you have a household and, and let's say a uh, man and wife get divorced, now you got two households to support. So for the, for the same meager money that came in, they have to split it. Instead of $100 a week, they have to 50 for this and this. But if they live together, that's why a lot of husbands, wives, they stay together, not because they like each other, but because, you know, it's cheaper that way. Let her provide them with support and base that the blessing of the household decrease by her departure. Although it's reasonable that her allowance be decreased, the heir should not be permitted to deny her all support. Let's say she did leave. So how can I be? So that that they, if she did leave, uh, if they did leave, that they, let's say she went to her father's house, they have to give her what what uh, she would have uh, the, the money that she would have given her in the house. Let's say if they live together, they send household, and it costs them, uh, let's say, hundred dollars a week, and she left to go to her father's house, so they, they would lose the. They have to give her, let's say, the twenty five dollars that uh, that. It would, it would, it would uh, extra that would cost if if she lived in with them in the house. So that's what they have to give her. Abra Avuda the lashon of Chachamim Bracha the 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 lashon of Chachamim that it says that that that's a blessing. The two things lashon Chachamim Oshe the language of the Chachamim teaches well lashon Chachamim Marbel healing. In the course of teaching the laws, the rabbis indirectly imparted wisdom regarding other matters. What are they? Bracha, the blessing, which we stated that the reason the widow must remain in her husband's house is the blessing of the household depends upon the number of inhabitants. 
the direct concern is the teaching love of, of a widow in passing. However, the rabbis take out the eighty part wisdom regarding the increase of blessing at home. So, so uh, you know, my 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 niece, I have a niece, my sister started, they lived with she and her husband, they lived in Australia for many years. He got he was a teacher. He was a rov there, and he was a. So every year they they lived there in Australia. She had another kid. She ended up having ten kids, and the the government used to pay them every for every kid. They made just a living by them having so many kids. So when they moved back to Florida now, so they they it was they they took a big loss when they moved to, to Florida. <laughs> but uh, ten, ten, 10 kids of the same as a lot. Popul yeah, the population. They, wow. Yeah. Australia, there's not a lot of people there, you know. Right. Okay. So Osha Dinam, wealth is taught, we learn Amokha Peros and Havero, Mashiach Le Meder. The buyer, if he sold it, uh, and, he, and, he, and he agreed on a certain price. And, and so then uh, the, what does he do? He makes a Mashiacha when he buys uh, when he buys this uh, stuff. In other words, if I buy from you Peros. So we agree, agreed upon a price. So how do I take possession? I make a mishich on the payrus. This is talked about when he, when he, 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 you know, he left it by the, uh, by the, by the man. In other words, I want to guarantee that I'm going to get this. And that's mine. That you don't have to sell it to somebody else. So verbally, it's not good enough. I have to do something in order to, uh, if I pay you for it, I have to, or maybe he didn't even pay him for it. But he, the, the, he, he makes a mishich. He has to acquire it. He has to make a, a, do something about it. So if he measured the produce, but he did not perform mishicha, no cut. He has not. If he just does, he measured the wood, uh, measured out uh, uh, the wheat or whatever he bought from him. He, that's not enough to own it. So imoy pekech sorches lekoma. What he do? He'll rent the location where the play the the where the the pro, the produce is there, and that pro that place where he he rents it. That will make the, acquire it for him. Um, so it's like I guess we're talking about where well, he didn't pay for it, but he he he, he made a deal with him, and he a, a, a certain price. I'm buying this specific, specific lot, and he in, in this, so in order for him to code it, so that the the seller doesn't sell it to somebody else, or that if the price goes up, he can't back out of the deal. He, he make these are the things he does. He makes either mishicha, and if he doesn't make a mishicha, he has to. He'll, he'll rent the the spot where the where the where the produce is at, and and the spot is the one that's called for him. So bar petanan. So we learn in the Mishnah, A person will not chew grain, wheat, and place it upon his wound in Pesach. Why? Because they become chometz. So therefore, we learn from here that a healing, like they said before, it's a healing process. We know that what, what makes the person has a wound on his hand, what's good for him to do it, to take the wheat and chew the grains and then place them on this wound and that'll heal him. So, so besides teaching us uh, halacha, like, uh, uh, you know, a uh, or or something, also teaches us that, uh, uh, you know, if, if you... Uh, if you chew grain on Pesach uh, before paying, you place it on your hands to heal it, it's it's chomet, so you can't do it. So this is the, so we learn from here the, the, uh, uh, a, uh, um, a, med a medical advice too, so that, that use, that's what heals wounds. I turn around, turn around, uh, Mishas Petirosa Shabbat, this now we got a long time to know. Mishas Petirosa Shabbat, or Rabbi Omar, in the time of Rebbe's death, he said, I want my children to be present in front of me to tell them things uh, before I die, make arrangements after my death. That's how they came. He said to them, Be careful on the, on the honor of your mother. As after I'm gone, uh, let a lamp burn for me in this place. So you have to, two first of all, you have to continue honoring your mother. And you have to let the uh, uh, candle burn for me. Shochet o yerech v'mekomo. Let the set a table for me in the usual place. Mita teim v'sas v'mekomo. Let the couch be arranged for me in the usual place. Yosef Chafni Shimon Afrasa and Yosef Chayfa and Shimon Afraim 
הם שימשנו בחייה. They serve either by lifetime, והם ישמשו במוסי, they will serve you after my death. So we're, not, we're talking about Rebbe, the famous Rebbe. So now the Gemara examines Rebbe's various statements. It begins, one relates to our Sudya. So he's here, be careful, honor your mother. So why did he find that it was uh, necessary to tell him that? Uh, I mean, after all, derisi uh, is a it's a it's a Torah obligation. It's him, kavod savicha on your father and mother. Why did he have to disrupt his children? So it's isha of havai. He refers to as your mother was not a true mother, but only the father's wife. Rebbe instructed to honor his, her, nevertheless. Or isha of nami derisi. So the, by the father's wife is also a derisa. Netanya kavod savicha ve'esi mecha. So es yimecha is even this is your father's uh, your father's the word es zu esh yisavicha. This is reference to your father's wife. Es yimecha zu bal yimecha. This is your mother's husband. So he, not only does he have to honor his his parents bi biological parents, but his but his uh, step parents. He has to I know, it's a honor. The rabbis and the are going to also to include his his oldest oldest brother. So why did he still Rebbe find this or to, uh, to instruct the sons after his wife? Yes, because the sense it's a derisa. So how did Mila Bechayim? We think uh, he thought maybe we only have to honor your your step parents only during the lifetime. Avalachemisa, but after the parents' death, this doesn't apply. Therefore, it's necessary for to command the sons. So I think uh, it doesn't say Mekalecholo. You're you're not a person who's not allowed to curse his parents even after death. I think is that what it says to uh, Harold? Right. I think, yes. I, yes. So, 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 uh, yeah. Uh, I, I oh, guess well, that. We, I mean, don't we have here? here oh here no, it but says, this is. But after the parents' death, this obligation does not apply. It was therefore no, necessary for Rebbe yeah. to command his sons uh, to honor his wife after his death. I see. So wait. Uh, oh. Um, so he does it then after the parents. I don't know. Oh, I see. So that's why he tells. So yeah, right. Yeah. So therefore, yeah. So let me see here what he says here. Um, yeah, you're right. It's not obligated, but you could to continue on one step parents even after death of the parent. Though not again, they he instructed them to continue on it. But yeah, uh, yeah. So that's right. So how? So Derisa. They don't have to honor their step parent or, or right. their parents after that. Okay. That's why he had to tell them to honor their, their stepmother. Yeah, right. Yes. So near ye dolakum koma, a lamp should burn in the usual place. Shuchan ye orach koma. Let the table be set for me. Mita table sas with koma. Let the couch be arranged for me in this place. My time was reason. This way. Call call me shim shahava as the lace. Every Friday evening, uh, a Rebbe, a Rebbe returned to his house. And he would come to his house, and he says, therefore, he, he wanted to uh, everything arranged according to the lamp, the table, the couch. So Ahu Shimsha, there was a certain Friday night, Ahu Shapsa Korkorne Abba, a woman neighbor came to the called out of the door, Omar Amita, the Rebbe, the Rebbe's maid servant said, Shiku the Rabbi Yosef, be silent, for the Rebbe is sitting within. So came in the Shabashu of Loa, so since Rebbe heard that there were visits for public knowledge, he would no longer come. Anymore, he didn't want to cause disparagement against the righteous ones of old who did not return to this world after death. That's uh, you know, so that's uh, you know, uh, he feared that people would say the ancients were not so righteous, so they were not granted the right to return. So, Rebbe didn't want the, that people to cause them not to, you know, this because they didn't return, so he, he didn't come back him to more himself. Yossi Chafif and Shimon Ephraim, they were people who served them during their life. They, so they, and they will serve me. Hello. And I, they will they will be served me after death. Sober be they, the head and Alma who uh, these men should serve them uh, um, with the burial. That's what he meant to tell them after death. The Chazi the Karam Arsiu Larse. Once they saw their beers preceded his beer, they were buried before Rebbe. So I mean, they said, "Shema Milela, who all may become right." We learn from this, Rebbe, that they serve him in the, that world, the world to come. Well, Amar, and that which 
he spoke in this manner, de lo libdin mil sahabi. So people would not say they died because they had been involved in something sinful. But I don't know, until now, Zuchus and Rabbi Hida, it was only a merit of the Rebbe which helped them keep them alive. And sure that none was be killed and these righteous men revealed that they were destined to serve in the world to come. So Ahmed Rabbi said to them, the Chachmi Yisrael, I need so I require the presence uh, um, uh, I require the, uh, the, uh, the sages of Israel, the sages of Israel, the sages of Israel entered his presence. Um, and said, when he said to them, do not eulogize you, 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 me in the towns. Turn to Dach Beis. Uh, and reestablish my, 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 Shimon Bani Chacham, my son is wise, Gamliel Bani Nasi, but my Gamliel, my son, should be the Nasi. Chanina Barchama Yeshe Barosh, Chanina Barchama should sit at the head of the academy. So, 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 they, so he says, do not, I'll touch me in my yard, do not utilize Yeshe in the towns. So, everybody, the other should from them, Yeshim Tircha de Kamar. Rebbe said this because he didn't want people to burn themselves, they have to come to the villages to. Listen to the has paid him. So came in the chosin the chosin of made. Once they saw the rabbis were eulogizing in the city, the koche kul alma. Everyone from the villages time came to participate. Shemavinam yishim yikor to come. Because you may learn from this that the rabbi said, because of the honor of the Torah will be increased if this eulogizes are attended large crowds. So therefore, that's why they uh, that's why they came. So he 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 was masking that they do it. Not, not necessarily for his sake, because the, the, the increased uh, Torah, the, 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 the distribution of the Torah, the, 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 you know, people should learn more. Okay. Hoshiva Yeshiva Lachar Shloshim Yom. So they, after 30 days, they didn't add Yulajim Yula anymore. For though Adifa, the Moshe Rabbeinu, I'm not great at Moshe Rabbeinu, you'll see him. By Yifa, the Israel, it's Moshe Marvos, Log, Shloshim Yom. The Bnei Yisrael, uh, uh, there was their mosque with Moshe Rabbeinu for thirty days. Plus, in Yom Ha'Sapir and the Yom Ha'Lailah, thirty days they use uh, they use lunch and day and night. The Kavu Elach sought to be Yom Ha'Gors and Lailah. Then, ah, they did it. They they utilize them during the day and at night they study the Torah. Oh, sought for Lailah of Gors and Lailah, or vice versa. They utilize they study during the day and they utilize utilize them at night. So another incident uh, about. Uh, that occurred on the Rebbe's the day of his died. Yom Adashkicha, the Rebbe, a dafka may call up Yom, a voice came out from heaven and says, Call the Abba Mashkicha, the Rebbe. Whoever was out there at the death of Rebbe, the Zuman who the Chayalo above is ready for life in the world to come. He needs no further preparation. So whoever came to the Hesped will, will, will uh, you know, automatically go to uh, Olam Habba. Uh, there was a, a certain uh, wash clothes. He didn't come on that day. Given the Shama when he heard this, uh, those are bread to Rebbe's death, were made ready for life and will come. He descended to the roof and threw himself to the ground at night. Yosemite called Yoba, a heavy voice came and said, Even this laundry man is. Is, is, uh, uh, it has a life of the world to come. I, I guess it shows that even the lowest of, you know, a laundryman wasn't necessarily from the uh, the Hoshima people, but even the laundryman was Roy to go to Al Mahabha. So, my Shimon ben Chacha, my wise son, my Kamar, what is he trying to say? Hoshi Kamar, Afa Pisha, Shimon Chacha, even though he was a wise man, Kamliel ben Nasi, my son Kamliel should be a Nasi. So Omar Levi, it was necessary for Rebbe to say this, and Gabriel was to be Masi. How would he, uh, he would have been appointed in any case since he was the eldest, and thus would assume his father's position by the right. Omar uh, Rebbe, Shimon Bar Rebbe said, Shurichala, he had with a tal teich, it was necessary for you and for your lameness. And Rebbe not articulate his wishes, the position must, would not have passed to Gamliel. Um, because Le Levi was lame. Levi demonstrated 
Kita Bawa, you became lame. Uh, okay, well, so Gamora says questions of Shippen's bar, uh, his reply. In other words, he said that um, um, I'd rather not have, okay. So he, he, what is that, uh, his, why does he say that that it would not have passed on to Gamliel? So my Kashle, what difficulty is it? He's all Kurakamar. A verse says, saying explicitly that a father's position is inherited by his eldest son is written. That's Amlocha, the son Lahora ben Kihu Amachor. That's by King Yoshafat, he gave Yohorab. In the, in the the kingship is firstborn. We see that in normal course of things, and the eldest son ascends to his father's position. Why didn't she by a Rebbe state that without Rebbe's express company would not have been made? Who yeah. He was the best suited for his brothers to fill the to, to fill this position. Rebbe was not the best suited among the field of the place of his father, for he was less wide than his brother Shimon. And therefore, without Rebbe's expression, he would not have appointed Nasi. In other words, without Rebbe's saying uh, on their own, he would not necessarily ever, even though he was the eldest. Rebbe, my time of and why did Rebbe, what reason did he do this? He He held that Rebbe Gamliel was not the best suited to fill the place of his father's. But in fear of sin, he was the best student among his brothers to fill the place of his father. Fathers, in this attribute, he led them all to the terrifying was appointed us because he had a great year, a year Sashem, more than anybody, more than all his other brothers. Hanina Bahama Yeshiva Rosh, he was sitting at the in the academy. Low Kibo Rabbi Hanina, he did not accept the position. Shahaya Rabbi Alpha is going to be men of the Rav Alphas was older by two and a half years, and Rav Hanina deemed it disrespectful to head the academy while Alphas lived there. Yosef Rabbi Alphas Rosh, and therefore Rav Alphas sat at the head of the academy. Yosef Rav Hanina and Baray. Rav Hanina sat outside the study hall. Once later, Yosef died, Levi came and sat with him. Noch Rav Shid Rav Alphas. Rav Alphas died, Yosef Rav Hanina Baray, and Hanina sat at the head of the academy. Lo have a Levi in his place. Because uh, Hanina's ascension, Levi didn't have someone to whom to seek and learn with because of the bubble. So he came to Bovel to, to seek a, a worthy partner to learn with. A great man has come to that door. Uh, and he was, he was limping. Uh, in other words, like he said before, that Levi somehow he bowed, bowed down. It says, why, how did he become lame? He, because uh, uh, he, he laid him an in, insufficient reference for Rebbe by implying that Rebbe had spoken needlessly. Maybe should have understood that Rebbe's instruction was necessary. Uh, therefore, I'm sure chastised Levi and mentioned that he's a parent because the reason Levi was a parent. So it states that Levi received this punishment because he, in his prayers for rain, when an answer directly complained to heaven in terms where it's lacking slightly in reference. So because of that, he became lame. Okay, so anyhow, so we, we say that he came to Nadoi to learn. Remember, when he died, uh, when Khalida died, Rav Alphys, he still sat at the head of the academy as he'd been sitting before. Because of the death of Rav Khalid, Khalina, he did not have something to learn with. He could sit and study because and that's why he came to Bavel. Uh, uh, um, so he boy say, but if you wish to say, Levi would have supported himself to the authority of Abephus, who would have studied in the, in the academy. Therefore, if Levi left there to Israel and Khalida was heading the academy, he boy say, but if you wish to say, Kava Dobra Khalida Bakhova Yeshin Rosh. Since Rabbi said Khalida, was sit at the head of the academy, the low Sagi Lodama, and he rubbed knew that it was a boss for Khalida, who would not eventually leave the academy to sin, but who put Sadiq in regardless of the righteous, but Tiska Omar Mariakim, he will pronounce uh, a decree and will be fulfilled. Thus, Rav knew 
that the certain that Rebbe's words one day would be fulfilled, he therefore deduced Levi's arrival. He deduced from Levi's arrival that Dory that Ravalfa had died or Hanina had ascended to leadership. The more questions are Rebbe's appointment of Hanina as head of the Kali, the more of Hanina, there was a Hanina who was more fit than that's Chia. Chia was more fit than Rachadina. So why did he appoint Rachadina? Noch Shach, Chia died, that really died. Rabbi Chia, Rabbi Chia once said, Adi Raisi Kivr Shem Rabbi. I saw the coffin of Rabbi, but Radati loved him once, and I shed tears about it. Clearly, he was alive at, at passing Rabbi. So, so you can't say that he died with Rabbi, before Rabbi. He must reverse the names. It's actually Rebbe who testified that he shed tears of Chia's coffin. But Rabbi Chia once said, Oso Hayom Shemes Rebbe, but La Kedusha, the day Rebbe died, hold the seas. So clearly Rebbe Chia lived after Rebbe. So Epoch, he must reverse the names as well. It was the Rebbe who said about Rebbe Chia. But Tanya, Meshachala Rebbe became ill. Bichlis Rebbe Chia, Chia entered his presence. And found um, found he was crying. Found it. Uh, he's crying. Was crying. He said to Rebbe, "The damn matra, why are you crying?" By the time you learn, Meisvi toch haschok sibun yafe. A one who dies with laughter, it's a good omen for him. He toch abchi sibun rav. He dies. If he's weeping, it's an evil omen for him. One of the mala sibun yafe. If he dies with his face forward, it's a good omen. One of the matra sibun rav. He faces downwards, an evil omen. But if he dies a face towards the public, it's a good omen. If he dies facing the wall, it's a bad omen. So part of Yeruka Sima Rafi, his face is shallow. He's, it's a good evil omen. Part of Sohoenva Arobim Sima Yafa, his face is cool as a golden or ruddy hue when he dies, it's a good omen. Mace bear Shabbos Simon Yafa, but mostly Shabbos Simon Ra. Mace bear of Yom Kippur and Simon Ra, but mostly Yom Kippur and Simon Yafa. Ma Machola Mayam Sima, one dies of stomach ailments, it's a good omen. If they screw it, it's an ekim, it's such a Machola Mayan. Majority of righteous people die of stomach ailments. Um, the Bryce teaches that to die amongst the weeping is an evil omen. So why did they weep? On account of the Torah, I will no longer be able to study, and the commands I will do, I will be able to perform. So the Bryce implies Rebbe died prior to Bechia. So why did they not report to Bechia? Because he, he was the biggest of all of them. He must reverse the names of the Bryce, in which case when Bechia, who wept, and Rebbe was remonstrated with him, unless Bechia died before Rebbe, he boy Seba, Alolam no tepach. You don't. You don't have to reverse it. Rav Chia asik b'mitzvah alvay. Rav Chia was constantly awkward with mitzvahs. Rabbi Sover lo efrage. He didn't want to prevent him from doing the mitzvahs. That's why he didn't appoint him as the head of the academy. I know the bay have a mitzvah Rav Chia. Rav Chia that they disputed. Amar Rav Chia the Rabbi b'hadei di mitznai. With me, you argue. My learning is so great. If ever forbid Torah, where you forgot from Israel, uh, I would restore it to my expositions and analysis. You must therefore bow to my view. Uh, he says, I, I, I perform perform actions that ensure that Torah will not be forgotten from Israel in the first place. I will bring flax, sow it, seed, and sow it. And once the flax is grown, the godly nisha, I weave nets. But so you didn't have it, I will trap deer. And I'll feed the meat of the deer to the orphans. I'll prepare scrolls for the hides for the safer Taurus. I'll go up to the city where there are no new teachers for the young children. I will write the parchments, the five books of the Torah for, for, for five children, one book for each child. I will teach the Sidney Mishnah to, by heart to each of the, the six children. 
בכל חג וחג אומר לילה, תיץ שלו עושה, ילך סדרי חכמי. Teach your order, your fellows. So they're all six, we know all six. In other words, each child will have to teach the other five what he learned uh, they, uh, he, from his Sindri mission. So that way, all six children will know the whole Sindri mission. So that's why it's coming to the Lord of here. How great are these here? Our Mishim of our Rebbe. I feel it will be much, even greater than yours. So I'm going to say, I'm Rabbi Yossi, um, I feel I'm an Abba, even, these days are even greater than my father, Rabbi Yossi, from Malay, he said, as for Shalom, lo tiye kasos, may such a thing never be said in, in Israel. So, Alec Moore returns to the Rebbe's final command. He said to them, whoever is attending to my funeral, if they cut not Israel, I require the presence of my younger son, Yichsam Shiva, that's so Shiva went, What's our low Sidri Chachme? Rebbe translated to him the protocols of the wisdom or Rebbe said, Lipni, Kodal Anit Sorech, I require that my presence, I require the presence of my older son. So Nicholas, Nicholas of Gamliel Etzlo, who, uh, who, who, who became the head of Yeshiva, what's our low Sidri Messias? He transmitted the protocols of the Messias. Uh, of our low, what's the Messias? What's the Messias? I don't know, but no. Uh, my conduct your niece, your niece, Nisias among the exalted ones. Uh, uh, so, in other words, uh, it says, Sur matter, uh, surrounding a king, one who answers the honor of this issue by fulfilling his court with the great and exalted ones of the kingdom. So, that's what he had to do. To Zrok, Mora, cast fears upon the students so that they will be in awe of you. So, uh, Amy, is that so? Well, to see if this year, I shall be a baby. Um, uh, uh, Omar Mari says, Say your shuffle, Ben Yehuda, Kishoya Roya, Tommy Hawk, when he would see a Torah scholar, Hoya Obed, Mikiso, the Habek, and she would rise in the seat, would praise and kiss him. The Carlet Rebbe, Rebbe, more and more, he would call the, the he, he was the, he was the king of Yehuda, and yet when he saw Tommy Hawk, he would say, Master, my teacher, my teacher, master, my master. You see that even the king gave out of the Torah students. Okasha, Obesita, what is in private? Uh, the proper, as we're, your shafat concerning the proper attitude towards students in private. But for Hesia, but the teaching of the Rebbe concerns the proper attitude towards students in public. In private, the Nosi can give honor, demonstrate humility before each and every person. In public, he must cast fears on others so that they will show proper respect for his position. So king can be, um, The king can be, uh, uh, you know, in, in, in his private, he can, you know, humble himself, but not in public, because when he does so in public, he, 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 people lose respect for the, for the, uh, you know, for the title of king. Tana Ramoto Bissibure, he was laying in a sick bed, and the burial place was prepared for him in, in Shaori, May Shaori, May Shaori. We learned, but Tanya, setting, setting to your phone. Uh, go after Rabbi Meshorim to have his case adjudicated. We see that Rabbi lived in Meshorim. Why were they? Why was a sick bed in, in Sephoria? Rabbi Meshorim. He was generally found in Meshorim. He came in the call since he was taken ill. I'm tweeting in Sephoria. They brought him to Sephoria. And the um, Mala for his lofty, who was this Avir, the air is sweet there. Okay. I see how we finish that big block. Yeah, it has a, I, I get the lift. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, All right. So, Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. So what do you want to learn tomorrow night? Eight o'clock works. Huh? Eight o'clock Saturday night. At what night. time? Whenever you want. Whenever, okay. Whatever's good for you.